Ric Flair like. I was born with a silver spoon. I think I'm limousine riding. Riding. When the band used to be my room. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Zuka Tube, and today we're going to be reviewing a movie called Ricky Stenicki. This just came out March 7th of 2024. Now, I'm going to go through, I'm going to read the summary, and then I'll talk a little bit about pros and cons and all that stuff. I'll give you my review, and then we'll do a little bit of spoilers at the end, right? Okay, so here's the summary they got here. 20 years after creating the imaginary Ricky Stenicki, Three childhood friends still use the non-existent pal as a handy alibi for their immature behavior. When their spouses and partners get suspicious and demand to finally meet him, the guilty trio decides to hire washed-up actor Rod to bring him to life. However, Rod takes his role of a lifetime a little too far, and uh, you know they begin to wish they never invented Ricky in the first place. Okay, so this is a very, like, typical comedy film right and it, it's got a bevy of people in this right so this film starts out with the three friends right and it shows in the beginning them getting into some trouble and then they make a bit in, like a fake name for a kid and they say it was their other friend that did it and you know that's basically how they get away with everything their whole life is they invented this friend that gets into all this trouble when they're real young and then as they get older it becomes their alibi for everything but they turn him around to a more like humanitarian guy, a guy that's going through, he's, he's gone through cancer, all this different stuff. Whatever it took for them to go out and just have fun as bros and hide it from everybody in their life, right? Their ultimate alibi. And uh, these three characters are played by Zac Efron, Andrew Santino, and Jermaine Fowler. Now, um... I, I like Zach Efron. He's great and stuff. Uh, Andrew Zantino is a comedian, I believe. He's got podcasts and stuff. I've seen him on a couple things. And uh, you get John Cena, who plays the character Rod, right? And basically, these guys are making up another excuse. They're out on their adventure, right? About to, you know, get their party going and all that stuff. And basically, they get news that one of the friends, you know their wife is basically going into labor and they're going to miss the delivery of the child and they got to make up an excuse and get back and all this stuff, right? So they all get suspicious of it when they finally see them come back and they're like, you know, we want to meet this guy. And so they get a little desperate and they find this guy at a bar and they decide to hire him, right? Well, it's a two hour film, so it's a little lengthy, but Overall, this is a funny film. Like, John Cena, I, he is getting a little exhausting at times, right? He's in everything. The dude is, like, everywhere. But Zac Efron's in it, right? And he and he's cool. He does a lot of good stuff. And um, so he, his character, right, John Cena's character, Rod, is ridiculous. They meet him at this bar. He's just this, like, alcoholic dude. And he does these ridiculous, like cover songs at bars right and he gets gigs doing that he's he's an aspiring actor right but this dude basically does what he calls like jizz jams where he does covers of stuff dresses like the the band members and everything and does their song but about jerking off yeah i it's pretty silly and it's really funny though like that throughout the whole film like a lot of the jokes and his character in general but they hire him and then he comes onto the scene and really just saves their ass. But things go a little too far, as it says in the summary, obviously. And you start to see, and then you see it in the trailer as well, if you haven't seen this film, that they just get thrown all these crazy obstacles and Ricky doesn't really want to leave their life. He's in there now and he's kind of doing his own thing and just kind of, he's the wild card. You know, he is the wild card that they made up all these years ago, right? As far as like the the chemistry of the friends and stuff, it doesn't really fit too much. Like they don't totally all seem like they would be friends. And like Andrew Santino's character is really fucking bizarre, bro. Like super weird, super creepy with him having this baby and the way he's acting. Like it's uh, it's awful, dude. And like the way his friends just like totally are fine with his weirdness. Nah, man. Nah, bro. Like he would get ragged on every second of the day type deal. Um, Zac Efron's character is like totally weird with his whole family situation or the idea of wanting a family and the other guy's gay. So 
that's a that's a wash there. We're not you don't even have to worry about that whole family thing there. But like they're all having issues one way or another with their spouse, right? And now they want to know about Ricky. That's the problem. So yeah, this guy comes in and he's just like a bull in a china shop. But it works out in good ways and bad ways for both Ricky and the friends, right? So they have to go on this whole ride. And I'm not going to spoil it, obviously, to the end when I talk about a couple things. But overall, I'd say like the film's all right. Like the, the, the music and stuff is pretty funny, obviously, with some of the soundtrack stuff. But then like the jizz jam versions and um, the cast, like the friends. Yeah, they don't seem to fit together too much. But like the things that are happening are funny. And obviously, Rod, he's really funny throughout Ricky Stenicki. Um, that's all, that's all great. The cast, yeah, they're weird. John Cena's character, Rod, though, he's really funny as Ricky Stenicki and everything. The boss is really funny. Um, a lot of the jokes they make throughout it, especially like when they're ragging on the boss and they're like, dude, every time you're in a conference and you're doing a speech, it looks like you're like blowing somebody and they keep doing the motion. He's like, ah, man, it looks like it. And it's like, Little things like that are, are really funny throughout. And you see little bits of it in the trailer. And yeah, like that stuff, it hits. Like there's there's not a lot of jokes that like don't hit really. Everything's pretty decent. Not not like the most hilarious shit, but it's it's a funny movie overall, right? And as far as my review, I would say about a 7.5. It's a pretty decent one. Like I would say it's pretty good, but th- it's just a little lengthy. And the ending was just kind of whatever it was there there was some funny moments and some good jokes at the ending that's a 7.5 right it's a pretty funny movie like something that i would put on just to enjoy like on a random day if it was on i'd just sit and watch it just because especially john cena's character as weird as john cena is to just be in everything lately like he's like the rock now but he's he's pretty funny and i you know, I like a lot of wrestlers that go into movies because they seem to be able to do comedy and still be able to do some serious stuff. They're not like super dramatic actors, but like they have like a decent enough range to be enjoyable. Sometimes they're just too much. They're in everything, right? But yeah, 7.5. I I definitely recommend checking it out if you enjoy comedies. And this one is just kind of like a, you know, like a bro comedy type deal. But obviously the friendship is just kind of weird like I don't know if they just kind of pulled like generic stuff like the checks and boxes or something for the three of them to be as weird as they are and still get along but then like I don't know either way let's get into the spoilers section okay So, like, at the end, right, like, it's weird. Like, they have this moment where they kind of expose Ricky Stenicki as a fraud, but then, like, he has this kind of weird, like, wholesome, you know, I was trying to help, and these poor guys, and they're so, they're good people, and all this stuff, and it's kind of like, you know, everybody kind of makes, make amends and all that stuff, but at the same time, like, yo, this is all some fucked up stuff that goes down. And the fact that like a lot of people just are like, okay, cool. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with this guy in our life. We'll, we'll deal with like just hiring these people at whim and all this weird, like it's obviously silly and over-exaggerated, but overall, like it was funny. There was some stupid shit at the end where like they just randomly like throw this like midget guy in there just to like be in a bunch of scenes and say some weird stuff as like this pretentious investor guy like it's really bizarre you know they're still gonna in keep ricky stanicky around and he like is is gonna be with the one girl and it's it's uh, it's so bizarre at the end the way they like mishmash these random things into the end part and then everybody gets to fail upwards at the end of it nah I don't know. To a degree, it's very odd. It's a weird world where things like that would would ever happen. But it was fairly funny, very enjoyable to just sit back and watch and have a just decent time having a laugh, right? 
and laughing at John Cena doing his uh, Hollywood humiliation rituals constantly in dresses and stuff like that. That's that's fairly enjoyable sometimes too. So cheers to that. That's a seven point five out of ten. Ricky Stanicki recommend Zuka Tube out. Just like, woo. Just like, woo. Like, 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 woo.